Side note, I did not know it was that easy to break through a fence like that. What's the point of put, taking all that money and building that fence or paying somebody to build that fence if that joint could fall down that easily? Anybody could just kick that thing down. Um, and there's like little hoodlums coming by my car right now with skateboards and I don't want to get into it. Okay, good. Go away. And no, they were not black, okay? I mean, how are you calling them hoodlums? They weren't black, they were white. So shut up, okay? I know you guys wouldn't say that to me because I used a word that you would assume that I would call a different race than myself. They were white, okay? Shut the fuck up. I don't need you guys to try and do not ask me questions. Do not question me. Do not think of other things that are that are incorrect. I will stop you at the fucking front damn door, bitch. Yes, I will. They were two hoodlums on skateboards driving by my car, and I just thought they were gonna do something because I just always, I'm always on very high alert. I'm glad she yelled that answer to me because I, I thought I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking, dang, you talk about a particular group of people, and we all, we all know that group you, we, we you talk about. <laughs> she did look. She ain't want to get canceled at no cost. She wanted to clear everything up. You know what I mean? I came across this video a while back, months ago, and I was confused as to how she's like floating in the air like that like i knew she wasn't actually floating but i just could not figure out how she was doing that bro then somebody in the comments said their croc is hooked to the back of their heel while they're standing on the, the table i know y'all like having hoes and shit and fucking with multiple people but don't nothing compare to having one person who's loyal to you and you loyal to them you realize that being romantic and showing genuine love never gets old i don't know how that shit don't drain y'all running around dealing with so many different personalities all the time. Y'all better go get y'all somebody who give a fuck about you and lock in, duck off. Don't worry about nothing. It might just be me, but I love intimacy and there's too many things you cannot do with hoes. But there's unlimited amount of things that you can do with somebody who you actually love. There's absolutely no limit. Y'all set boundaries. It might be three to five to seven boundaries, lines that you cannot cross. And then after that, have a fucking field day. Don't get it confused. It hit different when you got one person you can go to for everything. I'm telling you, find you somebody and duck off. Tell them everything about you. Do everything with them and spend all your money on them. I'm telling you that is. He might be saying some profound stuff, but like to be honest, it's low key kind of sound like a contradiction. Cause last time I checked, I don't even think Cuz got a. I don't even think Cuz in a relationship. I think he was making a video about wanting to be in a relationship. So he's speaking from someone who's not even in a relationship, a long term relationship. So you're fantasizing on something, you know. As a person who's been married for a long time, like there's there's pros and cons to all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's pros and cons to when I was single, when I was dating different women, and then there's pros and cons of being married. But you just probably tired of that phase of your life where you're just dealing with different women and you're fantasizing about a relationship with one person. But when you have that one person, you realize the grass ain't always green, greener on the other side. So, and then you might be missing the life when you was single before. There's pros and cons of everything. When you... Dealing with a whole bunch of women and stuff and dating a lot of women, they're going to get to a point where you, you realize the pros of being with one person because that gets tiring. But then when you with one person, you realize the pros of talking to different people to get a break from that one person because, you know what I mean? But one person is better, though. But I'm just saying, like, the grass ain't always as green on the other side, but one person is better. When the last time the police really saved a person? Probably today. You know what I'm saying? But like, all right, what, like in a car wreck? <laughs> probably about 13 minutes ago. But he probably called the fire department, though. Like, he can't really do shit. If something on fire, he got to call the fire department. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sorry, bleeding out, he got to call the ambulance. He got to call the ambulance. He got to call somebody. <laughs> yeah, he still need help. All he's doing is calling a motherfucker. <laughs> he's either shooting you or calling somebody for you. <laughs> right? Calling for backup. Like, motherfucker, like, let a motherfucker pull up and you too big. He ain't even going to get out the car till, till the next two or three cars pull up. He got a good point, but truth be told, cops do save people. I, I don't really trust the cops like that and everything like that, but cops do save people. And people in a situation, you call the cops. They will save you. Say it's a home invasion or say something crazy happening. They will literally save you from getting, becoming victimized by the person pursuing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they have a purpose. I was talking to this bad bitch. You talking me good. And that would girl be crazy. I'm pulling up to her. <laughs> Yo, why is Diddy looking at him like that, bro? <laughs> Look how... <laughs> 
<laughs> Cash said, you see how fast Diddy turn around. This is so funny. <laughs> Yo, Diddy is weird, bro. <laughs> Diddy is weird. And nobody called it out till now. That's sad. This is a 40 foot high jump and I really didn't want to do it again. I was killing time, hoping no one would notice, but then I realized I just had to do it. No, sir, I will not be doing that. No, sir, you can have fun. You can have fun. Ah! Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Mm-mm. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Mm -mm. Looks fun, but yeah, nah, nah. You, you can have that. You I don't give a fuck. I'm out of the water in your face. Do Talk it. like that again. Do it. Stop, bro. Do it. Like, well, I just got to stand Stay no business, bro. That shit was on the bottom of your shoes. <laughs> now, now, yeah. real spill. She's not going to do nothing. I got your back. It's two, of, it's two of us and one of them. I got the follow up, man. Stop it. I got the follow up. Ready? <laughs> oh, I missed. I missed. <laughs> Nah, I was like, I was like, I, was like, I wasn't gonna actually do it. That's fucked uh, up. Stay uh, <laughs> no business. Big business. Hold her back, please. Hold her back. Hold her back. Help! Help! Hold her back. Help! Hold her back. Help! Hold her back. 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 Oh, I think she's mad. Oh, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Wait, 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 wait. W, Punga. W. I don't believe in being scared of no female, but uh, if you know anything about her, she one of the females that's crazy. I will low key be scared of her. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I'm, I'm, I'm be real. Like I'm not. Females aren't stronger than me. Like, like I would never be scared. But she, if you know anything about Zoe, she, she, she be the last person I want to do something like that. She crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on, we gotta say rap paper scissors shoot because you're not. You're gonna try to. Ready? <coughs> I got something on the hoop. Rap paper scissors shoot. Rap paper scissors shoot. <laughs> Listen, bro. Whoever said big people don't run fast, that's a lie, bro. I ain't. I ain't want to say this, but I'll go ahead and you know. The track team doesn't really have that many big people like that, but if you just put food at the end of the track, they probably win all the races. I shouldn't have said that. I, 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 should, I, should, I should have said that. I should have said that. Would you say that you're toxic or would you say you're a lover boy? I'm a lover boy because I love to be in relationships because I don't like being alone. The moment I end one relationship like this, I mean, another one like the night of that day, Wait, let's rewind because you basically said you you relationship hop. Yeah. That's toxic. I love bum. You need to elaborate I on fly this. Fly down to where you are. I fly to where I am. Hold on, rewind. You're confessing that you love bum, I the do. girlies. Yeah, yeah. So you tell them you love them. Because I actually do. How long before you tell a girl that you love her? That day. The day I meet her. I tell her you're my wife already. So she gets a sense of entitlement or that shit. <laughs> that ain't no lover boy. That's just a player, bro. I mean, that that game been played for so long. That ain't nothing but a player, bro. That ain't nothing but a player. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. It feels so good growing up with a person. But uh, it's some it's some bad parts to it though. But it's some it's some real good parts. The bad part is when you're younger, it's certain stuff you don't know. So when we first got the first car. We was in a rush to get it because we was depending on people like to take us places and like it was getting annoying. So that's when we just rushed and went and got the Kia. Didn't even look at the information on the Kia for real. I just went and got it. And that's my first time ever getting a car. So it was just like I just rushed and got something. I don't lie, it don't make me want to cry. You need to come on. Hey. Y'all like and asking people for rides was, was getting so annoying. So annoying. But we was definitely grateful for the people that was giving us rides. But now, we went from a 2019 to a 2021. Like, why are, why are you going to play? You crying? Hmm? 
Period. That's the made it out the trenches tears, bro. Like, I'm not much of a crier myself, but when you realize where you came from, <laughs> especially when you, you 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 ain't come from much or you ain't have much, and you literally had to like everything that you got where you are, you earned it. Them tears, them tears right there are some of the best tears you'll ever experience in your whole entire life, bro. You know, you know. In a sense, I kind of feel bad for like the trust fund. You know, people, people who, 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 you know, was fed a silver spoon the whole entire life, they'll never understand what it's like to earn something and actually, like, e e experience the the beauty and the blessing of what, 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 you, what you've earned. Beauty and the blessing. Blessing is usually something you don't earn, but 